Hi everybody. In this video, we're going to take an IV bolus dosing scenario and do a calculation based off a of steady state. So here's the scenario. A patient is given 140 milligrams of drug C intravenously daily until steady state is achieved. Given the following pharmacokinetic constants, that includes an elimination rate of 0.209 days and a volume to distribution of 63 liters, what is the steady state concentration 19 hours after the last dose? So what is the equation we use in this scenario, an IV bolus scenario at steady state? And it looks like this. where we have a dose over a volume distribution multiplied by e to the minus rate elimination constant times time over 1 minus e to the negative rate elimination constant times tau, which is the dosing interval. Now this factor here, the second part of the equation, is called the multiple dosing factor, and I have a video on that. If you haven't seen it, go ahead and watch it. It'll help give you some insight on why this is included in concentration equations. And so this is the multiple dosing factor for a steady state scenario. So let's go ahead and start to put in the numbers that we can to figure this out. So we have the dose over the volume of distribution. Here we have the rate elimination constant put into both the numerator and denominator, which is 0.209 days to the negative one. We have our dosing interval or tau, which is it's given daily, so it's one day. And then we want to know the concentration 19 hours after the dose. So I hope alarm bells are going off here because if we want to be able to cancel out our units, using days and hours in the same equation is not going to work. So we need to convert either days into hours or hours into days. Since we have more days than hours, let's convert 19 hours into days. Since we have one day with 24 hours in it, this would equal 0 0.79 days. So now we can plug this into our equation so that the units, units cancel out nicely. So go ahead and let's go ahead and calculate this. When you're doing exponents, just like any other concentrations we do or any advanced PK calculations we do, you wanna do them in chunks. So what I would recommend is you do the exponent on the top first and you save that or write it down. You do the exponent on the bottom, then you save that or write it down, subtract it from one, save that or write it down, and then you go ahead and divide these saved numbers on the right of the equation and then multiply it by the dose over volume of distribution. When you do that all out, what you get is 10 with a rounding 10.0 milligrams per liter. So that would be our concentration 19 hours after a intravenous bolus dose that's given daily at steady state. So one thing to recall is that when we're at steady state, Unless you're in a continuous infusion scenario, levels will fluctuate from lows to highs, something like this. Okay, we have lows and our highs. So let's say in this scenario, there's really two things that is occurring. We have an average steady state, meaning that it calculates the average between the lows and highs, and so we have equations that will do average steady states but we can also figure out those lows and highs and calculate specific concentrations like we did in this problem following doses. So let's just say in this scenario, we gave the doses at the lows. So if we did doses at a lows where the tau is equal to one day or the dosing interval, what we figured out is the concentration somewhere around here, let's say, and here. So that's what we calculated is the level or the jug concentration 19 hours after a dose where the interval is one day. So that's how we kind of think about it visually. So keep that in mind in your head when you're calculating concentrations in these various dosing scenarios. Thank you for your attention.